Okay, problem 28. Solve the following inequalities, graph the solution set, and write the solution set in interval notation. A, we have negative 4 less than or equal to negative 2 thirds P plus 14. So we're going to solve this similar to how we had solved equations. Now there is a few things about the inequality that we need to take note of which we'll see later in this problem. Minus 14 from both sides, we get a negative 18 less than or equal to a negative 2 thirds p. Now we're going to multiply both sides by negative 3 halves. Um, and this is the special thing about inequalities. Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we're going to have to switch the sign. So this will be a positive 27 here. Switch the sign to greater than or equal to our p. Um, and then we could also write this as p less than or equal to 27. And then it asks us to graph this, so we will draw our number line. We'll have our 27, if I can write that correctly. 27. <clears throat> um, some notations they'll have a solid dot. There will also be a sometimes a bracket to indicate that it is inclusive or the less than or equal to and then arrow pointing to negative infinity. And from this we can say from negative infinity, remember that infinities always have parentheses 227 is our interval notation. Now 28b, y over 6 is greater than 2 plus y over 3 minus y minus 1 over 4. So we can multiply by the least common denominator everything, so that would be 12, and we're going to end up, once we simplify this, we'll have 12 divided by 6 is 2 times our y, greater than, this will be 12 divided by 3, so it'll be 4, and then in parentheses, 2 plus 1, minus this 12 divided by 4, which is 3, y minus 1. Now we can distribute 8 plus 4y. Now this negative 3 is actually distributed to both, so we'll get minus 3y plus 3. We can combine like terms, so we'll get y plus 11, then we'll subtract a y from both sides and we'll get y greater than 11. So the graph of this, we'll draw our number line, mark this as 11. Um, some notations you'll see an open dot at 11, some you'll see a parentheses, and it is going off to infinity. So the parentheses means a non-inclusive 11 all the way to infinity. Okay, 29. Given A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and B is equal to 0, 3, 6, 9, find A union B. So that means we're going to go along, and any number that appears in either one gets in this A union B. So A union B is equal to 0, 2, 3, 4, 6. But 6 is also included in B, so we don't need to include it again. 
and 10. For part B, we'll find A intersected with B. So now we're going to see if they have any of the same values. So in B, 0, that's not contained in A. 3 is not contained in A. 6, there is a 6 in A. 9 is not contained in A. So the only intersection between A and B is 6. Question 30. Solve the following compound inequalities, graph the solution set, and write the solution set in interval notation. Part A. Negative 2 less than or equal to 4 minus x divided by 3 less than 6. So we're going to solve this very carefully, but now we have two signs here, and we're going to have to keep track of both of them. So. First thing we should do is multiply everything by 3. So we get negative 6 less than or equal to 4 minus x less than 18. We'll subtract 4 from everything. We'll get negative 10 less than or equal to negative x less than 14. Now we'll divide everything by negative 1. And when we do that, we need to switch the directions of our inequalities. So we'll get 10 now greater than or equal to x greater than negative 14. Now usually this is fine, but we will rewrite this to go from the least number to the greatest number. So it'll be negative 14 less than, because we'll switch the sign, x less than or equal to 10. So on a number line, and dry our nice number line, we'll have negative 14 here, 10 here, and then either an open dot or this parentheses, and this will be our closed dot and a bracket, and it'll be this area in between. Then for interval notation, we can write it straight from the graph, parentheses, negative 14, comma, 10, close bracket. Part B. So this is two inequalities with an or. So we'll solve them independent of each other. Going to multiply both sides of this by negative three fourths. So we get that y. And when we do that, it will switch the sign greater than positive 18. Okay. Now we're going to do the y plus 7 less than or equal to 2y minus 3. We'll add 3 to both sides. We'll get y plus 10 less than or equal to 2y. Subtract y from both sides. We'll get 10 less than or equal to y. And we can flip that so it's a little easier to read y greater than or equal to 10. So now, if we were to graph this on a number line, we'll graph this one first, 
have an open hole, um, and then this kind of parenthesis looking thing. Either one should be fine. At 18, and we're greater than that. Then over here at 10, we have a closed dot or a bracket, and we're also greater than that. So we can see that there's overlap to this. So a better looking solution will actually be, we'll redraw our number lines, we only need this one. Um, 10. That's what I get for looking at the wrong thing. 10 and greater than that. So then on our interval notation, we would say 10 comma infinity. Okay, part C. Negative two x, x minus one, plus four, less than x plus three. So let's distribute this guy. Remember the negative applies to both. Negative two x plus two plus four, less than x plus three. Combine like terms, two x plus six, less than x plus three. Then we'll subtract 3 from both sides, get negative 2x plus 3 less than x, add 2x to both sides, 3 less than 3x, 1 less than x. Then and 5 in parentheses x plus 2 minus 3 less than 4x plus 1. Do that distributing again. 5x plus 10 minus 3 less than 4x plus 1. Combine like terms. Um, subtract off 4x from both sides, x plus 7 less than 1, uh, subtract off 7 from both sides, x less than negative 6. So we can draw our number line, so x less than negative 6, we can have our whole or open parentheses at negative 6 and 1 less than x or x greater than 1 and the same thing but greater than so we're looking for the intersection or where they overlap since they don't overlap there is no solution so if we were to graph it we would just have our number line with no intersection, and then the interval notation would be the empty set denoted by braces with no numbers in them. Okay, 31. The months of June, July, August, and September are the wettest months in Miami, Florida averaging 7.83 inches per month. If Miami gets 8.54 inches in June, 5.79 inches in July, and 8.36 inches in August, how much rain is needed in September to exceed the monthly average for those four months? So we want to exceed that. So averages are, add all the numbers together, and divide by the total number, right? So, in this case, we'll get 8.54 plus 5.79 plus 8.63 
Minneapolis will represent the rain in September with an X. We'll divide that by four, and that'll be the average. And this average needs to exceed or be greater than the 7.83 average. So if we combine like terms, we'll get 22.96 plus x divided by 4 is greater than 7.83. Multiply both sides by 4, and we'll get 22.96 plus x is greater than 31.32. Subtract off the 22.96 from both sides, we get 8.36. Uh, so x needs to be greater than 8.36 inches per month. And since we were given the problem in a sentence, we need to answer a sentence. So there needs to be more than 8.36 inches of rain in September to exceed the monthly average. Question 32, solve the absolute value equation. Negative two, absolute value of three y minus 10. That is then add four equals negative six. So we're going to subtract off four from both sides. And divide both sides by negative 2. Okay, now we get a 2 for 1 deal with the absolute value. So we'll say 3y minus 10 is equal to the positive 5. And 3y minus 10 is equal to the negative 5. And then we get to solve each one individually now. So we'll add 10 to both sides, and then divide by 3. y is equal to positive 5. And then we'll do a very similar thing with the equation on the right. Add 10 to both sides. We'll get 3y is equal to positive 5, and we'll divide by 3. So we get that y is equal to 5 thirds and 5. Okay, question 33. Solve the absolute value inequality. 6, 2x plus 1, 3. That is definitely a 3 in the absolute value. Less than or equal to 30. Graph the solution set and write the solution in interval notation. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. So we get the absolute value of 2x plus 3. It's less than or equal to 5. Now we get to split this up. We'll get 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to the positive case. And then we'll get 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to the negative case. We'll need to flip the sign whenever we have the negative one. And then we'll solve like we normally do with the inequalities. So minus three minus three, two x less than or equal to two, x less than or equal to positive one. Here we'll subtract off three and three. We'll get two x greater than or equal to negative eight and then x is equal, greater than or equal to 
negative 4. So we'll draw our number line. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4, either that brace or solid dot at 4. Then an open or a parentheses at 1. It'll be in between those two. Then the interval notation will be negative 4, comma, 1 with the brace on the negative 4 and the parentheses on the 1. Question 34, solve the absolute value inequality, the absolute value of 3x plus 5 minus 4 greater than 11, graph the solution set and write the solution interval notation. So we'll add 4 to both sides, that'll give us absolute value of 3x plus 5 greater than 15. Now we can split it apart. 3x plus 5 greater than 15 for the positive case, and 3x plus 5 less than negative 15 for the negative case. Remember that we switch our inequality sign for the negative case. And then we'll solve like normal. So minus 5 from both sides, greater than 10, x divided by 3 on both sides, x is greater than 10 thirds. Now we'll move on to the equation on the right, the negative case. Again, we'll start off by subtracting 3 from both sides. I should just less than negative uh, 20. x is less than negative 20 over 3. So then graph the solution set. Have our beautiful number line. Here at 10 thirds, we'll have that open dot or the parentheses at 10 thirds, and x is greater than that. And then x less than negative 20 thirds, we'll have that circle or the parentheses, negative 20 thirds, and we are less than that. Then writing that in interval notation, we come from negative infinity to negative 20 over 3, union, 10 thirds, all the way off to positive infinity. All right, question 35, and we'll be doing both A and B in here. So a box of cereal is labeled to contain 16 ounces. A consumer group takes a sample of 50 boxes and measures the contents of each box. The individual content of each box differs slightly from 16 ounces, but no more than 0 .0, or 0 0.5 ounces. If X represents the exact weight of the contents of a box of cereal, write an absolute value inequality that represents an interval in which to estimate X, or the weight of the box, right? So, we have X, and we know if we subtract off how much it's supposed to be, we don't know if X is slightly less than 16 or slightly more than 16. So this is where that absolute value comes in. But we do know it's no more off, or it's only off by 0 0.05 or less than or equal to 0 0.05. So this is the answer for part A. The absolute value of x minus 16 is less than or equal to 0 0.05. Um, for those of you who are following along or just wanted to check in, um, the equivalent expression here is 16 minus x is less than or equal to 0.5. Either way, it gives you the same answer. Now for part b of this question, solve the inequality and interpret the answer. So we get 
we already have the absolute value, so we'd say x less than or equal to 0 0.5 and x minus 16 greater than or equal to negative uh, 0 0.5. Awesome. Then we'll say plus 16, plus 16, x less than or equal to 16.5. And then over here, plus 16, plus 16, x greater than or equal to 15.5. And we're told that we don't need to graph it, we just need to interpret what this means. So, asked in a sentence format needs to be given back in a sentence format. So, any particular box of Serial will vary in its weight. I before E except after C. Um, in its weight between the values of 15.5 of Z or ounces to 16.5 ounces. Mm -hmm.